am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. Hey, howdy, hey, partners. It's Today I Grew Up. Really excited to talk about the Lightyear movie. If you don't want any spoilers and you have not watched the Lightyear movie, you probably do not want to watch this video because there is going to be spoilers. So there's a lot of details in this movie that I can't cover in this video, but I will highlight the parts that I loved, maybe highlight the things I didn't, and then also give an overall general rating of what I thought of the film at the end of this. I will start with Buzz Lightyear. Of course, this is the origin story of Buzz Lightyear, the film that we've always wanted as fans to see what fired up Andy for wanting that Buzz Lightyear toy in Toy Story 1 when he got it as his birthday gift. And I was really excited for this movie and I still am excited about it even after watching it because it's just a really well done film. So I'd like to thank Pixar for making this movie because I did really enjoy it. And I think that the hardcore Toy Story fans are only gonna have love for this because there's just so much about it that gives us feelings of nostalgia and childhood. And that brings me to the first part of the movie. When we first see Buzz, we see him saying lines from the original Buzz from Toy Story, which is really cool. And he has a wrist communicator. He's talking to the mission log. You know, he has his helmet. He does have the suit, even though it looks a little different. It's very reminiscent of Toy Story Buzz. So I really did enjoy that. There was a lot of character building I felt with the other new characters. The only thing that I didn't like right away was I feel like we didn't get any flashbacks of Buzz's life. So I kind of felt like it was an origin story without being an origin story. <laughs> so we didn't really see where did Buzz come from? You know, who is his parents? What, where did, was he born? How did he start training as a space ranger? We didn't really see the origins. We did see the origin relationship between him and Alicia Hawthorne, which is his chief commander. So we did see that story development. So I do like and appreciate that detail. But I wish I would have seen a little bit more about Buzz as a character before he becomes a space ranger. So that is my one complaint there. Uh, but I did enjoy the film as I was watching it. You know, there's little Easter eggs here and there, and it's just really fun. And if you're a true Toy Story fan, you really start picking up on things like, oh, I've heard that quote before, or I've seen this situation before, and that was really exciting. So Alicia Hawthorne, great character. I thought she was different, you know, than what we've seen from Pixar in terms of, you know, she, she was a chief, she was a commander, she was in charge. And it was really cool to see that attitude. It was a really nice character. And then also her granddaughter, Izzy Hawthorne, really awesome tenacity. She's really spunky and a go-getter type character. I really enjoyed it as well. And then Darby Steele was this funny old woman who was on probation or parole. I guess she had done time in jail or something, but it was really funny to see that character made us laugh. Mo Morrison was kind of like this funny character that was kind of like goofy mixed with, you know, kind of maybe was not the best and the strongest, but just kind of along for the ride. You know, basically they're all rookies. They don't have a lot of experience and Buzz is kind of annoyed. And so Buzz in this movie really wants to be on his own. He's very selfish in terms of like, I don't need anyone. I don't want any help. And that's why they got in trouble to begin with. You know, Buzz crashed the spaceship and then he's trying to finish a mission and keeps failing. And then the cool time travel element was awesome. So I do like that they time jumped a lot. But as he did that, Alicia Hawthorne got old, she passed away. And so it was kind of sad to see, you know, Buzz basically lose his best friend. And one of his only best friends we really see in the movie. And that is really sad. Uh, and then after that, of course, you know, he with the fun starts with all the new characters and Buzz is learning that he can't really do it on his own. He needs friends. He needs help. So I did appreciate that story development. So that was really fun. And of course, the biggest spoiler of all, we find out Zerg is actually old man Buzz. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear is Zerg? This blows my mind. I can't believe that Zerg is Buzz. Um, that part for me is a love-hate. I love it on one hand and I also hate it on one hand. You know, part of me wants Zerg to just be an evil robot and maybe there's a myst mystery to that. Who made that robot? You know, that's more mysterious and fun. Uh, having Old Man Buzz was cool though and I hope they make an action figure by the way because I would totally buy that. It, it was cool because it's like, oh well at least we know that's, that's Buzz and we know who it is. And, but we did find out in the movie, old Buzz had told Buzz, young Buzz, was like, hey, where'd you get this stuff? He's like, well, let's just say I borrowed it or I, found, I took it over, I found it. So we know that maybe the real Zerg exists or there's another person who owns Zerg because it sounds like old Buzz 
didn't really create it from scratch, he borrowed it. So that was interesting. So there's still something maybe to be said about a sequel. I hope they don't make a sequel though, just because if this is Andy Star Wars, they should just make it one definitive in Andy's world. Otherwise, I feel like you have more room for error because this is supposed to be kind of like a side quote or prequel to Toy Story because it inspired Toy Story 1 for Andy to love Buzz for that toy. So I, I hope they don't make sequels of this. I think one movie is enough. And if anything, if Pixar wants to do more with the Toy Story franchise, I hope they make a Woody origin movie because that's something would be super cool to see. Going back to the movie though, it was really fun. Socks, I left Socks for last because Socks stole the show. Without Socks and that comedic relief, it wouldn't really be a super funny movie. Socks was the comedic relief every single time. I love the darts flying out of the mouth, you know, some fire too and other crazy things. And Socks with the sleep noise, that was hilarious. And I just loved Socks as a side companion for Buzz. I thought that was cool. It reminds me of Mandalorian and the Child. You know, you have this like, you know, take charge leading guy and then you have this cute little, you know, baby and then Socks was kind of like that cute little adorable sidekick. So I thought that was really neat. And uh, yeah, Socks was probably my favorite character besides Buzz Lightyear and Zerg, of course. And then the rest of the characters, you know, I always love Buzz and Zerg and the most, but Socks was really fun. And I did enjoy watching the movie. I've seen it more than once now, and I gotta say, I love it each time I watch it again. It's just a really great film. It has a good message. Uh, the only thing that I wish they could have done was given us more origin for Buzz. I feel like it's an origin story that needs more origin. So that's my, my chief complaint. Also, it does feel like a very modernized movie, although they try to make it retro with the 80s, 90s kind of buttons and stuff like that. I kind of feel like it's, it feels like a very modern movie, which it makes sense, you know, you can't just make an old movie. People are not gonna get that in 2022. There's gonna be people that are confused uh, and the pacing of the movie had to be quicker, but I did feel like it was slow enough to build character development. So I wasn't too, you know, complaining about the pacing of the film, but it was a really good movie. It was everything that I thought it was going to be. And if anything, it was even better with socks because it made it that much more fun for me to watch. And my favorite thing too was when Buzz revealed his wings in his jetpack, you know, just like the toy I just re reviewed for the jetpack liftoff Buzz you know, he has the pop-out wings and we finally saw it in the movie for a very brief moment, but he has the wing tips lighting up just like original Buzz toy. So that to me gave me some warm feels for my nostalgia and childhood was to see Buzz with the light up wings. Uh, so that was really cool. I wish we would have seen more of that. And at the very end, my favorite was Buzz was wearing the Toy Story Buzz Ranger Alpha suit, basically. And he got in a spaceship that looked exactly like the ship that we Andy got for packaging for Buzz, which is that blue and the white with the red trim and everything. So that was really cool to see like a ship version of what became the box for the toy Buzz that we see in Toy Story. So I really, really thank Pixar for throwing in that homage to Buzz from the original Toy Story because that made me smile pretty big. And it was a great way to end the film for me. And at the very end, there's little Easter eggs. There's three scenes at the very, very end after the credits. And, but the only one that really matters is we see Zerg. It looks like he died in space, but then his red eyes light up. And then we're like, whoa, Zerg is alive. <laughs> so that was really exciting. So I enjoyed the movie. It was great. Do I think it's realistic to what Andy saw for his Star Wars movie before the first Toy Story? I think it's a little unrealistic. I think in re the real world, I guess, if we're talking to Andy's world, it would be a little different, a little bit more vintage feeling this felt very modern so that's my big complaint for continuity but you know i understand they have to make a movie it's 2022 and they got to please the fans also so i think for toy story fans it's a 10 out of 10. personally my rating is a 9 out of 10 only because i felt like we needed more origin to the origin story i still don't know buzz and that's weird to say after watching his origin story i feel like there's more about buzz we could have learned but you know, overall I feel like the critics gave it a, a lower score, but true Toy Story fans I feel will really love this film. Well, those are my thoughts on the movie. That's my review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts about this movie in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Tell me your rating. What did you think of the movie? What were the things you loved? What were the things that you hated? Let's discuss that all below and let's have a great time. Remember to respect each other. No bullying or trolling on the comment section because I do read every comment. As always, partners, if you want to be part of this journey with me on YouTube, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button 
hit that notification bell so you're later for future videos on this channel. And I'll see you partners on the next video review. Take care. You want the real buzz like you? You're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.